呃。So I'm gonna, I thought I'd give my little rant on here instead of my Snapchat. Um, um, time really dumb. Anyway, so I just watched the documentary, What the Health, so I definitely recommend that to everybody. It's freaking crazy, groundbreaking, but that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the defensive meat eaters that I have encountered within like the last two days okay so as an animal rights activist I do a lot of activism on the media so if I see a post of a dead chicken or a dead cow or whatever any kind of animal cruelty I am going to say something about it and I usually just say you know the statistic of how many animals die a year and for some reason I get so much hate and even some people are saying stop whining no one cares yeah you're telling me to stop whining no one cares but in reality I was never whining from the first place I'm just leaving a statistic of how many animals die a year so how is that considered whining when in reality I have like five ten people leaving me nasty rude comments um, on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, on my Facebook. You know, it's just like, you know, I'm just leaving the truth, a statistic, facts, sources, and I get so much hate. And it's just like, you know, just because you guys feel some sort of way, don't take it out on me because, like, really... Like, some people are just saying so much nasty things to me. And they're like, just stop whining, no one cares. Um, I was never whining from the first place. You guys have been whining. Like, how many, like, sometimes, like, when I leave the truth bombs, you know. Some people would literally go to the extent and just spam my entire Instagram with meat pictures. Like, they're just, like, put all these meat emojis on all my Instagram pictures and it's just like wow it's like what the fuck is wrong with people it's like if you try to like shake up your little delusional bubble um they go fucking crazy like I don't know the amount of people that I that I get they're just so hateful it's just like just because you guys feel some sort of way don't take it on me. Even, like, family members of mine, you know, have done this to me. And it's just like, wow. Like, my uncle, my aunts, my cousins, you know, people that I consider my family. When you leave a little bit of truth in their delus delusional little bubble of security, they're just so angry and offensive and mad. And take it all on you. Like... When I leave, when I leave these statistics, proof, you know, real proof, scientific proof, I get so much hate from all of these people, and some of them even say, stop whining, no one cares, but in reality, I'm not even whining, like, you guys have literally been commenting on my comments with so much hate, and... Like, some people will go to the stent of saying, go kill yourself. I'm speaking up for the animals, and you want me to go kill myself. Yeah. Mm, okay. You know, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, in... I, like, I think I had, like, three situations where I had to block people on Instagram because they got so defensive at my comment, you know, my statistics, or coming back to them for saying something hurtful to me and rude, that they would go to the stent to go on my entire Instagram and just post all these meat emojis on all my posts. And it's just like, that takes a lot of effort, you know? So, it's just, 
which is crazy. Like, how far people will go to try to, you know, defend animal cruelty. Like, it's just fucking crazy. And, yeah, it's just crazy. And, you know, what? It, it does get very overwhelming because I'm just trying to, like, it's overwhelming that I have to try to explain to people why it's wrong to harm somebody else. You would think that's common sense, you know? And when I first became vegan, you know, I went vegan for the animals. Ethical reasons, 100%. But being vegan, I found out that there's so many hateful people. And you really gotta know your shit. Like, I now, even though I'm an ethical vegan, I know so many, so many, um facts and sources about you know health about environmental reasons um of why we shouldn't be eating animals i had to do my research because people were fucking jumping on your back and like you know it's just crazy but um yeah so i guess like two days i've had people just spam me, spam me of comments on my one little comment. And all I wrote was the statistic of how many animals die a year. And all these people, I don't know who they are, just went bam, 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 bam. On this one little comment that I wrote, I said, please leave animals off your plate. Go vegan. And I just leave the statistic of how many animals die a year. And it's just like all these people were just saying so many hurtful things to me. And rude and just like, what the fuck? And you know, it's really sad that people are like that. You know, to go to this extent to try to, um, you know, defend their, their reasons to hurt animals. Which is so fucking crazy, and there's no need to eat animals because it's fucking disgusting, wrong, cruel, bad for our health, and bad for the environment. But, um, anyway, so, yeah, I don't know, guys. It doesn't, it, I mean, it bothers me to a certain extent a little bit because, you know, these are the people that are walking around the earth and teaching their children this, you know. This is not good for our planet because our planet right now is dying and people are literally dying. And it's like people are eating the animals, the animals are killing them, and they're killing our planet. So stop killing the animals and stop eating them. It's just, you don't need to. Anyway, so I'm going to go now, but yeah, bye.